John Martin coming to you live on this 44 hour trip here at Hubbard's Marina. We're about to take off. Father daughter team here. Yep. Uh, who, Last time I think uh, you outfished him, if I remember right. I think, I think Most so. Time. Most time? We'll see what happens this time. Well, it's good to see y'all back. You too, Mr. John. All right, as you can probably see out here, it is very foggy. You can't even tell if the sun's ready to go down or not. It's just nothing but fog. It's been like this since we left the dock at 10 o'clock this morning. It's probably about 6.30 now. There's the horn. Anchors away. All right. Well, I'm going to go back there and see if I can find me a dumb one. I'm all with it. I'm talking about fish, that is. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. It's not as good. It wasn't the Nice red snapper. Come back June 1st. Be a good deal. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, just cut that for it right there. There you go, brother. Thanks, man. What's your knee? Knee. Here. I got you. I was paying attention. Damn. Nobody's going to ban him? Uh, I'm in here like a... Yeah, that's, that's a big old boy. You want to ban him? You got to ban his ass. Oh, you wrapped around him? That's going to get wild. That's going to get wild. I'm going to get back in the water. And away he goes. Come back and see us June 1st. That was a big old boy. <laughs> we got Will here reeling in something big. He says it's no keeper. It might be a big red grouper, but it's actually. Well, we grouper. can't keep that, right? No. Will has put his clients to bed. Yeah, it's about what? One in the morning? Something like that. He's about to put himself to bed as well. It, might, it could be a red snapper either. Yeah, this would be the time for you to go to bed. But he was acting big and slow like a red grouper down there at the bottom. I got color on it. It's a nice gag. It was a gag. A keeper in season, but a throwback now. Good job, sir. Well, the red snapper have basically taken over the trip. I'm hoping that's not what this gentleman has on, but it's probably the same thing. Oh, red grouper, baby, a keeper, baby. He's right there, he's right on it. Cool. And he comes over here. And here's one of several measuring sticks around the boat. Puts it at the bottom, and it looks like he is... Just short. Just short, by about a quarter to an eighth of an inch. Just so, short. So then he takes him over here, and... Safely releases him. And away he goes. The gentleman's got a nice fish on here. He's hoping it's a red grouper or something he can keep, not a red snapper. Been getting a lot of red snappers. Don't pull. Oh, beautiful red snapper, unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately. John, he's got a pretty big red snapper here. Gentleman right here. 
Nice fish. I wish you could keep him. Come back in June. Come back in June and you'll be good. All right, hang on. Put your, can you put the plate back down? There? Yeah, real sure. quick. This is uh, what Tammy's serving tonight. Tell us about it again, Tammy. Oh, yes. Lasagna, garlic bread, and I also have green beans. Green beans. Yes. Looks good. Looks it's like absolutely you're... absolutely every day is delicious. Well, it's a little bit too cold to be up on the bow this morning. But we're just about in. Ending this 44-hour trip. Overall, it was a pretty solid trip. Mangoes bit good the first night. Morning bite was pretty solid. Afternoon, we got a, a good scatter and a red grouper. But the problem was trying to get away from the little red snapper. They seem to be everywhere. Good morning guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina and Captain Brian and the boys just got back in from a 44 hour full moon trip. Looks like a nice pile of mangrove snapper. Look at that stringer. Solid mangroves. Looks even bigger with splash in the background there. And uh, definitely a lot of nice mangrove snappers, some nice big vermilions, porgies. And uh, saw some yellowtail in there. Looks like you guys had a good trip, huh, Captain Brian? Yeah, not too bad. The weather cooperated. The, the night bite was phenomenal. Yeah. It was a 44-hour trip. We started fishing at 6.30. Nice. Made six stops until 6.30 in the morning. Wow. So you had a solid nighttime pick of these big mangrove snappers. Yes, we did. And then uh, you started a little deeper, so we were out of that keeper grouper area at the start, right? Yeah, Roger. We, we let everybody know nobody can keep any red groupers or any scamps all night long because we're finding the better grade of mangroves in the deeper water. Then we did like a a 12 mile run right at, right before sun up. Yep. Got up inside the fence where we could start keeping the groupers, and then the weather deteriorated a little bit. The bite was tough, but we picked a couple on every stop. Nice. So once that front rolled through, the wind picked up, seas picked up, it got cold, and it was more of a picky bite through the daytime, huh? Yes, it was. So a majority of the fish kind of came at night prior to the front? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, what about the daytime red grouper bite? I saw a couple red grouper. It was a little tough. It was tough. The, the weather was pretty crappy. So that had a lot to do with the weather, you think? Yeah, operator error. <laughs> you know, park on the but, so it made it, it made it tricky, huh? It made it tricky, and everybody fished hard all night, so we had a lot of people that were napping. Ah, uh, gotcha. The other day we could have caught a few more, maybe. Yeah, it makes it, it, makes it tricky for That's sure on a 44-hour. Pretty good. Enjoyed it? Enjoyed it. Definitely quantity over monsters, but okay. that's still good eating. So you're ready to go again already, probably, yes. right? Yep. 39, here's your second one. Okay. You want your picture taken with that one? 33. 33. 33, here is your contender fish. Okay. Thank you. It's not that big. Give them to me. Grab half of this. Hey, I'll do it myself. 
put them in, in the thing. Uh, this is my continuum. Be careful with that. I didn't want you to strain yourself. All right. All right. Number 12, one, two, 12, one, two. That's a cooler full of fish, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job, guys. Got it. Oh, Number 11. We got more here, yeah. We got 32, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, still got mine. Are they all going in there? 55. Uh, no, uh, You're I got dragging them down. Yeah, okay. I got to drag them down. Four. I got another stringer, though. Yes, sir. Thank you. I think you're going to need a bigger cooler. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think you're going to need a bigger cooler. Fishing with you again, man. You have a good one. Enjoyed it. Have a safe journey home. Well, that's going to do it here at Hubbard's Marina for this 44-hour trip. But as I say, no trip is over. No trip is over without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. Good morning. Good morning.